there are a huge number of different execution methods which were used inside of concentration camps to condemn a prisoner. The conditions of the camp became utilised by guards themselves as they would exterminate prisoners through labour or let them succumb to starvation as supplies became incredibly stretched as the war went on. Many were driven into gas chambers or were executed on gallows in front of thousands of people at roll call each day. However, inside one of the deadliest and hardest concentration camps of them all was a set of steps to a quarry, which became used by the SS for execution and for sadistic torture and sick games, which would result in prisoners dying. Mauthausen concentration camp was a site where over 190,000 people were held during the seven years of its operation, and this was found in Upper Austria, close to where Hitler grew up. The SS would force the inmates to work in the quarries, and the conditions became some of the worst of all the camps, and prisoners were forced to carry huge blocks up the steps of the quarry, and they were then used in Hitler's large building projects. But the stairs of death became the iconic image of Mauthausen, and the prisoners of the camp would, after the war, tell of the terror of these. Join us today as we look at the horror of the stairs of death, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Mauthausen as a concentration camp opened on the 9th of August 1938 when prisoners who were inside of Dachau, the first camp, were sent to make a new slave labour site. It was the site of a granite quarry and there were good transport links to Linz, the hometown of Adolf Hitler. Granite was mined at the quarry and it was good quality and it was used to pave the streets of Vienna but Hitler wanted these resources to carry out his huge projects to rebuild what he called Germania. This was very expensive to buy the granite, so Hitler would utilise slave labour to get the resource cheaply, and would force people to conduct backbreaking work. Mauthausen became a huge complex, with many of the subcamps there that would produce items for Hitler's war effort, and the conditions in these were also known for being horrific and savage. The death rate at Mauthausen became so bad that prisoners were living a matter of months from the starvation and work they were forced to do when they came to the camp to begin with. But in regards to the output of the site, Mauthausen became more productive than Auschwitz and the SS guards were known for driving the prisoners very hard and often too far. There were many factories that were built around the main Mauthausen complex and 45 different companies would utilise the slave labour at the camp. Many of these companies were making things for the war effort, but there were some which were not. The camp became a site where millions of Reich marks were being made a year in profit, and prisoners were also rented out to local industries to work on farms. But the main point of Mauthausen was to exterminate the inmates through the work that they were doing, forcing them to work until they could do no more, when they were either executed by the guards, or they simply dropped dead. It became one of the most barbaric camps, and the inmates suffered from malnutrition and dehydration, as well as overcrowding. The conditions of the camp with regards to the weather was also extreme, and in winter it could get as cold as minus 30 degrees Celsius, but in the summer the heat was scalding. Prisoners were not given correct clothing for the weather either, and the living quarters were very poor, and diseases such as typhus would spread like wildfire amongst the inmates. The SS would also administer beatings, as would the carpos or prisoner functionaries, and there was a medical facility known as a Krankenlager, but this did not offer any medical support or hand out medication, it only just dealt with minor first aid, so prisoners could then get back to the quarry to work. There were experiments conducted upon the inmates, and by the end of the war, the average life expectancy of an inmate was just three months, as food rations declined and decreased, and some prisoners could not stand up. Those who could not work were also dispatched to execution sites such as Hartheim Castle, where they would be killed in the gas chambers. However, as mentioned, the most notorious part of Mauthausen was known as the Stairs of Death. This was found at one of the huge rock quarries, and was at the base of the steps. They were a collection of 186 large stone steps, in which prisoners would be made to carry 50 kilogram stones up and down many times a day. They walked up and down, one after the other, and it was backbreaking work, and the SS guards would drive and whip the prisoners up and down the steps, making them go quicker. This led to accidents, 
and if a prisoner collapsed in front of another in the line, then this would create a domino effect, with dozens of prisoners then getting injured. They were forced to walk up and down the steps all day, from morning until night, carrying these heavy rocks and boulders. It would be demoralising for the prisoners, and one former French resistance fighter, who was forced to do this, would state, Those who visit the Mount Hazen Quarry today don't see the same thing, for since then, the steps have been redone. A real stairway, cemented and regular. At that time, they were simply cut with a pick into the clay and rock, held in place by logs, unequal in height and tread, and therefore extremely difficult, not only for climbing, but also for the descent. Stones rolled under our wooden soled sandals, and we were forced to keep moving at a very rapid pace. The work consisted of carrying up a stone of considerable size and weight, along the 186 steps, after which there was a considerable distance to cover. The man who chose a stone found to be too small was out of luck, and all of this went on at a rate of 8-10 to 10 trips per day. The pace was infernal, without a second's rest. But the stairs of death was also used by the SS to condemn prisoners, and they played sick games, known as the parachutist wall, in which they forced prisoners to push others off the ledge. This would result in deaths of inmates, and they lined prisoners up at the top of the cliff, next to the edge of it. They were then told at gunpoint to either push the prisoner in front of them off the cliff, or they would be then shot dead by the SS, who were waving a pistol in their face. The SS guards called the inmates the parachutists, as they would tumble off the edge of the cliff from height, and would hit the bottom, causing a brutal and horrific death, and there was absolutely no chance of survival. Another prisoner of Mauthausen who experienced the stairs of death would state that, if you stopped for a moment, the SS either shot you or pushed you off the cliff to your death. They did use the cliffs as an execution method, but some inmates would throw themselves off as it was so brutal and barbaric. Another historian stated, For two days the SS drove the Jews up and down the steps. On the third day, driven by despair, the remaining Jews joined hands and leaped over the precipice to their deaths in the quarry below. But there were many other execution methods used inside of Mauthausen, and the stairs of death was just one aspect of the site. The guards and carpos would regularly throw the prisoners into the 380 volt barbed wire electric fence, which surrounded the camp and the quarry. Other guards would just randomly pull out their pistols and weapons and shoot the inmates on sight, if they could not carry their rocks and stones up the stairs. If a gunshot went off, then chances are the inmates would move quicker up the steps, as mass panic did occur. Other prisoners would be condemned inside of ice-cold showers, with 3,000 dying of this treatment. Mauthausen concentration camp was liberated by the American army on the 5th of May 1945, and they would hear of the horror of the sight from those people who were still at the camp and surviving. They managed to disarm the guards who were there, and most of them had tried to flee, but 30 SS guards were killed by prisoners in reprisals for their treatment. The prisoners told of their ordeal and the slave labour they were forced to undertake, and the site of Mauthausen today exists as a memorial to those victims who were forced to work there in the gruelling conditions. The stairs of death are an iconic symbol of the camp and of the suffering of the prisoners of the concentration camp system, and hundreds of inmates, if not thousands, were killed by the work they did going up the stairs or by the sadistic games played by the SS when they were thrown off the top. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.